queen of Amaterasu, Japanese goddess of the sun, a retreat to an emergence from our caves. In the slivers of mirrors, we saw ourselves, and we enjoyed our shining. We mirrored each other's beauty. Did we become luminous beings by the end of the day of the dance of the shining? Our sun wings spread like sunbeams caressing the air, and we flew as angels of light. I am sure of it. Everyone's skin is fragile, luminous. Didn't matter what age, or size, or what life has carved on us. Did our eyes shine delicately lit? Radiating out to illumine the world, I saw the women's eyes shining. I saw them enlightening the world with their women wisdom, their wily smiles, their open-flowered red hearts. I saw their curvaceous dances, their plunging depths. The way they flung themselves into ecstatic states from which they would never emerge, never, if life was composed of the harmonious flowing energies of the dance floor, the unwinding from the tight to the relaxed was like approaching an apex, and once you reach it, you fly. With your feet, your hands, your twirling torso, your wildly swinging hips, we flaunt it. Our tool, and taffeta, and silk, and microfiber, pinks and greens and purples and blacks, yogic symbols and alpine wild flowers, hot breath, luminous, damp. And streaming in the dance, we are embedded in the broad, sweeping swaths of sun as she revolves around the planet, illumining the world as she goes, spreading rays of wisdom like falling petals of light from the crown of the thousand-petaled lotus that she wears. We are. In our quiet ways, or exhibitionist, or wildly celebrating, deep, rich in our sorrow, visions, glimmering, sparkling, bedazzled, radiant, luscious. <laughs>